I'm Mark Gruba along with Leah Lando. Here is the latest on COVID-19. Governor Cuomo says this is an invisible beast we are dealing with, calling it a rescue mission to save lives. Yeah, Cuomo sharing what he calls bad news today. He says there are 44,635 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in New York, up by 7,377 from last official count Thursday. 519 New Yorkers have now died, up from 385 just yesterday. Cuomo says he expects that number will go up as many patients have been on ventilators for more than 20 days. He also announced schools will remain closed statewide until at least April 15th. I have to reassess because April 1 is just in a couple of days, and I believe the schools should remain closed. I don't do this uh, joyfully, but I think when you look at where we are and you look at the number of cases still increasing, it only makes sense to keep the schools closed. Schools are required to continue meal services, distance learning programs, and child care services. He continues to remind us all we are all fighting this invisible enemy and have to continue to social distance. That doesn't mean hosting parties and play dates. Stay six feet apart and stay home if you can. In Monroe County, 31 people are now in the hospital for COVID-19, 20 of them in the ICU. 160 people have tested positive for the virus in Monroe County. Four people have died. 14 people have recovered, though, and have been released from quarantine. More than 400 are still under a mandatory quarantine. Now, the governor telling all hospital leaders they must increase their bed capacity by at least 50 percent with a goal of 100 percent. Local hospital officials announcing their plans to increase beds today. It will add more than 2,000 beds. Beds at Rochester Regional Hospitals would increase by 109% under the plan. University of Rochester Medical Center Hospitals by 103%. To put these numbers in perspective, there are currently 1,964 beds. This would go up to 4,000 and 44 beds. So more than doubling the number of beds. Phase one, by the way, is already underway, turning over beds that are immediately available. Non-urgent surgeries are being delayed, and both hospitals are training doctors who are not performing surgeries now to treat COVID patients. The second phase is creating new inpatient beds in all hospitals. Phase three doubling up on non COVID patients who currently have private rooms. The final phase creating a field hospital County officials say they're still deciding between four possible sites for that. Doctors say it is up to us if all four phases are needed. The surge capacity plans help us make uh, ready to treat large numbers of COVID-19 patients. However, we are working hard to ex ensure that the full extent of these plans won't be uh, needed. The more social distancing we practice, the more that people take the governor's and the county executive and other officials, health officials advice to stay home will save the hospital's capacity and enable us to care for everyone and reduce mortality. And Monroe County Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza pointing out today that although patients under the age of 50 are testing positive for COVID-19, most of them are recovering at home. He added the average age of hospitalized COVID-19 patients is 61. Now, as you know, new information is constantly coming in, so stay tuned to News 8 on air and, of course, online. We are at RochesterFirst.com. Stay safe and please do what you can to help slow the spread of COVID-19. As always, thanks for watching.